this time on Super Puppy Boys, we acquire a new car and we're going to show you how to install a snorkel. Sick puppy style. Alrighty, so when it comes to installing snorkels, it's very daunting when you have to drill through your guard. But today we're going to show you an easy way to get through your guard causing minimal damage. I got here a brand new A2 snorkel. This is a custom made Pivo snorkel. Retails for about $7.90. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about joining it up to the airbox and shit like that. I'm just going to show you how to mount your snorkel piece onto the actual car. Right, first up, we'll need to make a mark of where it's going to where it's going to end up. So, so obviously you use like masking tape or something like that not to scratch the paint. So we're going to make a small mark of where our snorkel needs to go through. Right there. As you know, we're trying to cause as minimal damage as possible. So there's our mark, that's what we're going to cut out. Now we get to the perfect tool to do the job. We'll go step into my office, eh boys? So, here she is. This is the Hole Saw 2000. It's going to be cutting our hole today. For those people that are actually interested, I got a lot of comments on the last one. There's a Ruger Precision Rifle, and I've just painted it red. Hey, red goes faster. Got a hole mark, now we're just gonna make the cut. Let's get to it. Bastard. That was 15. Load it up with a few more and have a look see. So we're about halfway through anyway, so it's gonna keep going. Poking holes. Alrighty, there it is. We've cut out a hole. Obviously we had one go a little bit lower than I wanted to. I tried shooting this one to knock it over, but that wasn't working. But this, once you do that, this should just pull out of the way. There you go. There's your snorkel hole done, boys. There you go. How to install a snorkel with sick puppy. So there you go, boys. If you're a bit nervous on putting a hole saw through the side of your brand new BT-50, just send it out here at the Sick Puppy Farm and we'll cut a hole for you. Fucking that deserves a beer, that does. Alrighty boys, now that snorkel's fitted, we're going to go back in time and show you boys how we got our brand new Nissan Pulsar for $100. Alrighty boys, we're here at Woolgaroo. One of our producer's mates have handed us the keys to his car and said, this thing broke down, you boys can have it. I haven't even seen this thing yet, it's right behind me. So we're going to go have a look and get my first impressions on this piece of crap. Here it is. It's a manual though. Manuals are fun. And it runs. It runs. I'll well, see if it's got some, maybe it's low on oil or maybe low on water. I'll have a look see. And yeah, we'll go from there. Have a look, see. Looks clean. Looks really clean. Oh, it's got water. It's got oil. I can't see why this thing wouldn't run. Uh, should we drive it home? Because it is still registered, so. Or should we get a truck? Then we just go for a lap. We'll just go for a bit of a test drive and we'll see if it breaks down. Airbag lights on, so I'll probably blow up in my face. Nah, that didn't fix it. There's something funky going on with the dials, but it says I got a full tank. So the guy reckons so after five minutes she stops running. So we're just gonna keep cruising around until it dies. Seems okay. Well, it runs fine, but I don't trust it. This is too good to be true. So we're still gonna get it. We're still gonna get a tow truck to get it back to the farm and then we'll we'll try more and see if we get it to die then. The farm's on the other side of town, we're not taking any chances on the highway with this thing. We'll just wait for the tow truck. Honestly, it's not a bad car. Like, I'll feel quite bad sick puppying this car. <laughs> Something that concerns me is we're outside the retirement village, so I'm hoping that our key didn't miraculously work in someone else's car. <laughs> 
because this thing seems like everything's working and it's not what was described to us. I'm honestly waiting for some old guy to come out and start yelling at us for freaking stealing his car. Here's our tow truck, boys. It seems to be a trend. We always get Nissans. Can someone please give us a Toyota for once? Not little bad little rig, this one. I like it. So we dropped it at the end of the street because the tow truck is a little bit too big, a little bit too big to get down to the farm and do a U-bolt. So, but overall car feels not. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, it's back. <laughs> I thought it died. Oh, it's, it's dying. <laughs> oh, now it's. Oh, oh, there we go. It's back. Well, the drive was okay. I just started, I was going to do a bit of a review for you boys on how good it runs. And as soon as I said the car's going all right, it went <laughs> and it started going. Gong, 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 gong. So, Sorry. our decision on not driving it from all the way on the other side of Townsville back to the farm was a fucking brilliant idea. We'll go for some test drives, see how good it goes, and we'll do our diagnostics that way. So we're here at the Sick Puppy Test Track. We got our new car. We're gonna give it a few runs. See how good it actually is. Mandatory testing that we have to do on all our vehicles, otherwise we cannot use them in an episode. We're gonna do some fully sick drifties in this Nissan Pulsar, mate. First, hand braking. We'll see if we can do a full loop out. Handbrake's stuck. <laughs> we'll go for our reverse the testy. <laughs> All right, we're going on to phase three of testing. This is what you really need to be able to do if you want a car to last in sick puppy. Drifts, check. J turns, check. Reverse doughies, check. I think she's ready for an episode, boys. This car is for another episode, so we just had to pick it up today, test it out, make sure it's going to last all the crap that we do to them but on the next one we'll have more fun in it and probably some carnage we can't kill it yet boys just be patient man let's go fuck something else up All right, change of plans, boys. We are gonna to go to the service station and get this car ready for the episode we're gonna do. And we're also gonna to go to Super Cheap and get a new fuel filter for it, because I reckon that's what it's causing it to do this. This car is still road registered, guys, so don't worry. It's struggling, but we figured out the pattern on how to drive it. You just can't haul ass, otherwise it dies. Like, yeah, it's like the profit margin of Sick Puppy. <laughs> Five dollars, that'll fix the issue. I hope. Fuel seems clean to carb. Seems okay, seems okay. Most of the time. Test, here we go. Do 
It fixed it. It fixed it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the car is fixed. $5 fix, boys. $5 fuel filter. She's done. Back to normal. The dash still doesn't work, but hey. We're going to leave it here and do our best not to break it while Chef Spud's out of town. But we have something planned for it that's going to be absolutely amazing. Oh my God, I want to do that. All right, that's the end of another lazy day on the farm. Headlock Merch, our producers set up a merch site which sells sick puppy merch. So if you want like simple things like stickers and windscreen stickers, sick puppy approved sticker. We have a new sticker, which is the hydration session sticker. You'll love that one. Subscribe to our YouTube, follow me on Instagram, follow Spud on Instagram, sign up to Patreon. Anyway, that's the end of it. We'll see you in the next one when Spud's back with us. Fucking flies. <laughs>